tech visionary, the genius behind Apple, father of the iPod, the iPhone, the iPad. But there is one more thing. But three and a half years after his death, the public still hungers to know who was Steve Jobs really? Now a new book aims to change what its authors call the conventional view, that he was, quote, half genius, half jerk. It's all seemed like a miracle pulled off by a guy who was basically a jerk, and it wasn't a miracle, and he wasn't a jerk. He was not bipolar, jerk, genius. He was a, a wide array of colors. Some Apple executives say becoming Steve Jobs is the first portrayal to get it right. A knock on Walter Isaacson's book, authorized by Jobs himself. CEO Tim Cook says Isaacson's 2011 biography painted his boss as greedy and selfish. But it's not the only version of Jobs' life slammed by Apple insiders. Nobody wants to buy a computer. Nobody. How does somebody know what they want if they've never even seen it? The 2013 movie Jobs, starring Ashton Kutcher, grossed nearly $36 million worldwide, but Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak said it missed the mark. It had his, Steve Jobs' mannerisms, but it didn't have his thinking and his thoughts. This fall, Universal Pictures plans to release its Steve Jobs movie, written by Aaron Sorkin, who also penned The Social Network. Next year, CNN will show the documentary Steve Jobs, The Man in the Machine after a theatrical release. And even more movies and more books may be inevitable. There are different slices that people take at this for a long, long time to come. He's like Benjamin Franklin or he's like, uh, like Thomas Edison. There's just so much there. So much there and so much more to tell.